get uh, tangled up here. But I had a feeling about that uh, that little turbo fly, that little micro turbo flying worm. He jumped all over that. Got him right in the cartilage, right there. Very cool. Let me show you that fish. Okay. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Well, if you've been watching the channel recently, you've been seeing me out fishing my micro turbos, you know, teamed with bugs, teamed with tubes. We've been catching trout, we've been catching kokanee, we've been catching all kinds of stuff on. We even caught some big crappie on them. Um, several guys have picked these kits up. A whole bunch of guys have picked these kits up, but uh, I've been getting some questions emailed to me about how to rig them. Most of the questions are in reference to, you know, to how to rig the uh, micro turbo tube kits, but I've been getting questions about the bugs too. So I'm gonna really quickly here, I'm gonna ramble right on through how to rig all of these, all of these kits up. We're gonna start with the tubes because there's two different riggings and uh, you know, one for kokanee, one for trout, and kings there is some crossover but let's get started and this is probably the most confusing one here I, mean, I got them on a pool floaty of course so I'm just gonna set this down try to keep those from tangling all up and uh, we'll get started so right here I've got a tube rigged up for kokanee fishing and it sports a pair of red octopus hooks <laughs> That's the traditional rigging for tubes. I've included octopus hooks in the turbo tube kits. So you've got the hooks you need. You need some eight or 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader material. And here's what you wanna do. Go ahead, poke a hole in the end of your tube, shove your leader material through the tube, okay? Then what you wanna do is snell on a pair of the octopus hooks, put them about an inch apart, just like that. Now, if you have questions about how to tie these knots, leave a question down below in the comments. And if there's enough you know, interest in that, I'll make a video on how to tie those knots, but I don't want this to be a super long video. So once your hooks are in place, go ahead, slide that tube down, get that first hook up inside the tube, like so. Let that other one, you know, you want that other one out near the back of the skirt. If you're kokanee fishing, put your, your kernel of shoe peg corn right there and uh, that's going to draw the fish in and give them a nice target to strike at beyond that once you got your tube in place on the leader all you need to do is put on one of the included beads right there slide on the turbo of your choice that bead acts as a bearing for that turbo to spin against um, if you're kokanee fishing you're probably going to want to be running this behind a dodger you don't have to. You can run it naked for kokanee, and you will catch kokanee on it. But most guys like to run a dodger, usually a four-inch dodger. Just remember, put that rig two to three dodger links behind the dodger. If you're using a four-inch dodger, eight, nine inches back, something of that order, just enough to impart a little dart and stop action to that rig. That's going to combine with the vibration and flash being put out by the micro turbo very effective offering. We caught a bunch of kokanee on this up at Bullard's Bar. It will catch kokanee anywhere. It's just a very effective offering. So that's it with the dual hook rigging. Now you could certainly catch trout and kings with that dual hook. If you're looking for trout, maybe put a little piece of worm on that second hook. If you're looking for kings, you know me, I like to use that little piece of anchovy skin, but that, that will totally work. But a better rigging for trout and kings, if those are on the menu, is to use the uh, one of the included red treble hooks. Let me grab one I rigged up with that and I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna turn my back on the camera. Okay, I'm back. I had that buried in that floaty. So this rigging is a lot simpler than the kokanee rigging because you're only dealing with one hook. Take your eight to 10 pound test leader once again, shove it through your tube. And at that point, go ahead using a palomar knot, tie the treble hook on the end of the leader and slide the tube down. So that shank of that hook is up inside the tube, kind of work it in there so it doesn't trap, you know, the little legs on the skirt, or at least not too many of the legs on the skirt. Kind of play with the skirt a little bit, get it nice and nice and straight because it's kind of imitating a minnow. You want it to be kind of compact and streamlined, something like that. Now, as you can see, anything that comes in knocking on this is getting hooked. There's three big hook points hidden in that skirt. Once you've got the tube positioned on the hook, slide on your bead, slide on your turbo. The turbo, it's got its little little bearing to spin against, you're good to go. If it's for kings, put the anchovy skin on there. If it's for rainbows, you can run it just like that or put a little piece of worm on it. Leader length, 
for trout and kings, you can run this naked all day long. It will catch plenty of fish. If you want to use a dodger, if you're going for kings, you probably want to use a six inch dodger. Put it, you know, two to three dodger lengths back. Six inch dodger, 12 to 14 inches behind the blade, and you are going to be dialed. You're going to be ready for action. So that's pretty much it for the tubes. They are the most difficult of the uh, micro turbo kits to, to rig. The uh, boogers, the woolly boogers, and the bugs, they're rigged pretty much the same way. But let me show you both of those. So we're starting off with a bug here. These have been super productive. We caught a bunch of kokanee on these. We've caught crappie on them. We've caught a bunch of trout on them. It is just a fish catcher. So when you open up your kit, you're gonna have little bugs in a bunch of different colors. I just grabbed this one because I thought it was super cool. It's that chartreuse sparkle color. Um, it looks like a kernel of corn by itself. If you're fishing for kokanee, put your shoe peg corn on the hook. If you're fishing for trout, put about a half inch of worm on the hook and uh, man, it works so well. Um, if you're trolling for either of those species with this rig, you could troll this. These things are very versatile. You could troll it anywhere from below one mile an hour all the way up to two miles an hour. For kokanee, you know, 1.2 to 1.5, maybe up to 1.8 is probably, you know, primo. For trout, you can go a little faster. My target speed for trout when I'm pulling something like this is 1.5 to 1.8, but I've caught some trout going much slower than that. So, Take your eight to 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader material, tie it directly to your bug. I use a Pelomar knot, tie it directly on the bug. And I used a bobber stop here. Those are not included in your kit because they're not necessary. You can run that, that turbo right on the nose of the bug. But uh, I added a bobber stop here so I can put some separation in there if I want to. But honestly, most of the time I've been fishing it kind of right about there, about a half inch or so, I guess, above the bug. And uh, you know, you can mix and match. You can go with a shiny turbo. You can kind of kind of match the color. I kind of got the chartreuse theme going on here with the green bead. And of course, don't forget your bead. Your bead, once again, is your bearing. That's what that little micro is gonna spin against. Um, this can be run behind a Dodger but uh, I've been running them naked and catching lots of trout on them. Um, we were teaming them with Dodgers up at Bullard's Bar. We were catching kokanee on them. Um, same rule of thumb applies, you know, two to three Dodger links back. So that's the rigging of the bug. And uh, last but not least, here is the turbo booger. Now, just kind of globally speaking, the woolly booger fly is just, just a deadly trout catcher. And it's also a fly that you can very effectively cast from the bank using a water bobber. Very popular at Comanche, Amador, New Maloney's, stuff like that. So what I've done, I've just tied that woolly booger on a piece of eight or 10 pound test fluorocarbon line, just tied it on there with the Pelomar knot. I have added a bobber stop here. You don't have to, but uh, you might want to throw that in there just so you can vary that length the same as I did with the bug. Next, Right on your bead, follow it up with your turbo, tip all your leaders with just a simple overhand loop knot. And uh, if you're a bank angler, you could totally team this with a water bobber, slow roll it in just like you would with a standard woolly booger, but it's gonna be even more effective because you're putting out uh, vibration, you're putting out flash, especially if you go with like one of those chrome blades, the rainbow colored one, but you're putting out flash, you're putting out vibration. It's just drawing in more fish and you can retrieve this very, very slowly, okay? You can retrieve it quicker too, so very versatile. If you're trolling it, same rules apply. You can troll this below one mile an hour. You can go all the way up to two miles an hour. You can tip it with a little piece of worm if you want, but I seldom tip a woolly booger with worm. You got all that hackle, you got a little flash in there, you got the marabou. It is a very lively fly in the water. You team it with that micro turbo. It, uh, it's kind of the total package. It's a very effective trout offering. So that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. That's how you rig your, um, your micro turbo and woolly booger. So 
that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions about the knots, leave a comment below. If there's interest, I'll make a knot video. I'll show you how to tie the knots, um, how to rig these up even further, but I wanted to keep this fairly short. If you haven't got your micro turbo kits, go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and we will hook you up with what you need. We also got rods, reels, and more, all that stuff over there. Um, I got to get rolling here. It's nice and sunny now, but I got some rain coming in and I want to burn a couple of big piles of brush tomorrow. So I kind of got to get, get positioned for that. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. I hope this helps you guys out. Now, get out on the water and uh, put those micros to work. We're going to have some cloudy water after this rain and uh, they are going to be fish producers for you. I guarantee it. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks for all the support.